Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Hyde YouTube. In this video, we will talk about live interview experience with MNCs. Are you able to hear me? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, can you tell about yourself? Uh, no. Can you enable the video? Wait. Yes, go ahead and tell, her, tell about yourself. Okay. My name is Ajay Veer. I am from Pune, Maharashtra. I hold a bachelor degree in computer science from Modern College Pune, which is an affiliated college of Pune University. In my academics, I work on a project called COVID-19 uh, Protection System, in which, uh, which which was a website uh, done in PHP, JavaScript, CSS, and MySQL. I also have a good knowledge in cloud technologies like Google Cloud, and I also done some certifications in it. In December last year, I joined Cognizant, where I underwent mainframe training. During this training, I gained expertise in various mainframe technologies like COBOL, JZL, VSAM, DB2. And, and also, I work on some assignments given by our SME and mentors. We also had a gamification session during our training, which was a fun plus learning experience. During the last weeks of training, we work on a project called BRD11 Citibank Personal Loan System. Uh, in which we have to take a uh, input PS file from the bank and uh, perform a COBOL program on it, like uh, validate the records based on some certain conditions. Then that PS file will be uh, sorted in two files, like error records uh, in error PS file and valid records in valid PS file. And after that, that valid PS file will be again split into four different parts on on the basis of uh, their approval month, date approval month. So like that, and after that, uh, the records from valid PS file are put into two tables, two SQL tables, loan DB and applicant DB. And after uh, we created a VSAM case days file, uh, which includes uh, like four columns in it. And do, uh, with the help of that case days file, uh, we created the final report. Yeah, this was uh, for my project and uh, apart from this, I also have done certification in mainframe from Udemy. Um, during the training, I also developed strong teamwork, communication, and problem solving skills through team project and interaction with uh, fellow trainees and mentors. I am highly passionate about my mainframe technology and eager to apply my skills in, in mainframe role to contribute to the success of any project. Overall, the mainframe training at Cognizant mainframe components, I'm confident that this training has prepared me well for a mainframe role. Thank you. So there are like four GDG, GDG parameters, name, limit, no empty. Okay, uh, first we have to def uh, uh, define no, no empty empty so empty will uncatalog all the previous generation while uh, no, no empty will uncatalog only uh, only the older generation so after that when we define no scratch or scratch so scratch says that only the uncatalogs data set will get deleted while no scratch will not delete anything what are the dispersion parameters in JCL? This version parameter tells how the data set is handled uh, in our JCL. So there are like, uh, there is a condition of, uh, like there are three parameters of uh, dispersion parameters. Third one is abnormal termination. So there are like uh, multiple various uh, parameters um, like new, mod, catalog, delete, uh, pass, keep, What are the utilities you come across in JCL? IBR14, ID camps, IBGNR. One file. How will you do this? We can do that using sort utility. Uh, we have to. Uh, huh, we have to put sort in one DD and again sort in 2 dd and with sort out dd uh, we are we will copy uh, both files data into one file using sort fields copy option 
how do you identify if the file is empty in jsc uh we can use conditional course uh, like i'll give an example uh, we can use idcams utility to print the data set into spool if the if that step uh, if that step return code is 4 that means the file is empty if not it is uh, it is it had some records can you tell about ksds ah uh, ksds is uh, key sequential data set uh, which organization mode is uh, indexed it has a key unique key what are the divisions in this uh, cobol program uh, there are four divisions in cobol um, and identification division environment division then data division and procedure division how will you add two numbers in cobol program two numbers uh, we can do that uh, using there are two methods uh, why we can uh, add two numbers in cobol uh, first one is compute using compute and second one is plus wsb uh, it will calculate the addition of wsa and wsb into ws result so uh, what is transfer the control of the uh, pro program to the uh, to the next uh, uh, the next verb after the explicit scope terminator while next sentence will uh, transfer the control to the next verb after the period how do you declare array in a cobol program we can declare array using occurs class uh, array should be shouldn't be <coughs> what is the difference between inner join and outer join so join is used to uh, join is used to combine result from two tables two or more tables so inner join says uh, only match records will be fetched while outer join says uh, both match or unmatched records if there is a match found between two tables two or more tables what's primary key uh, primary key is a db2 co constant columns in the table which uniquely identify a row in a table what is sql code minus 811 811 we get uh, when we Uh, when we use select statement uh, which result into uh, getting multiple rows at a time uh, in a in in one result set what is cursor cursor uh, cursor uh, is just cursor is used uh, to uh, fetch multiple rows uh, in a result set and process one row at a time what is difference between null and space so null means no value defined by that uh, with that column so space means uh, it has a value so it's like it's, it is a string it has some value in it like space but in null it denotes no value i have pasted uh, some table name and column and its value can you okay. please open the notepad and do screen share perfect Okay, first question would be, you have okay. to select. I'll I'll just uh, check the table. Employee, employee, employee name salary. Uh, okay, what was your question? First question, you need to select the employee ID one two five. Number one two three four five. You have to select it. Okay. First question. Mm -hmm. The second mm -hmm. question, you have to update Ravi salary to forty thousand. And Sami salary to thirty five thousand. Right. Ravi, Ravi to. Ravi to forty. Sami okay. to thirty five. Sami to thirty five thousand. Okay. Yeah. Right.
copy it done. या ओके फाइन एनी क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम माय साइड दोस्तों आपको वीडियो कैसा लगा पसंद आया तो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब